Hi, I'm Joe, and I'm the Accidental Brewer. I'm Miss Ella. Yeah, and she is not the Accidental Brewer today either, just to let you know. Decided that earlier. Um, again, kidding. Uh, but we had a very, whoa, that was explosive. So we're doing the, uh, the pie mint, the spiced pie mint that we made. Um, this was done on uh, October 11th, 2020, and um, we're just now racking it to secondary and testing it for the secondary, uh, so fun times. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and rack it over to secondary. I felt like that worked really well last time, um, and then we'll put it in the bottle, and we'll decide if we need to add any acid blend or anything like that to it. I don't think we will, uh, but this one was a very um, involved fermentation so we'll see how it ends up going it's very clear though very nice looking I still smell the coffee one so I can't smell it does it smell nicer than the coffee one mm -hmm. you're not making that face so <laughs> clearly it smells nicer oh yeah it does it's like uh, it's still got a little bit of that astringency in it. So it started out at 1.08, just um, in case you didn't remember that. So that puts us somewhere around 9 9-ish percent ABV, uh, which isn't too bad, but we'll probably back sweeten this a little bit today. Um, I don't remember what yeast we use, and it's not on here. <laughs> so I can't say um, so I'll have to look that up in a moment after we rack this while we're deciding what we're gonna do with it I so one thing that I've done since the last time that we kind of messed around with this I've shortened the uh, tube that we use for our racking cane and it has made a significant amount of difference in the time it takes for things to rack and stuff like that rack rack like <laughs> What the heck? <laughs> that suddenly became a penguin there for a moment. <laughs> Rack. Um, all right, let's do the uh, the gravity reading. For some reason, I think this was logged in seventy one B. You're very good at that, you know, making sure I don't spill stuff everywhere. That's why I need you around. So that has gone down to I say that's one dot oh oh that's been very successful at this point I'm kind of happy with that all right let's see how it tastes let's see if we want to add any more or we just want to leave it like it is it might be quite lovely like it is the one that I like the most out of these the spiced ones that I made was 13 percent ABV Yeah, it's missing a little something. A pound of honey to this, because it's still it's got some sweetness. I think it needs some. It doesn't need any acid blend. It's it doesn't quite have enough of the um, the stuff that uh, it should have. So I think we'll add just a little bit of lactic acid and some um, some uh, more spices. So let me get the spices together. Let's add one fourth of a uh, teaspoon, the one that's out already, just to this, just to see if it kind of brings up some of that flavor. Lactic acid? Lactic acid, yes. And all spice. Cinnamon, cardamom, 
close. Star Anise. Did I tell you that I ordered some uh, nice whiskey, I ordered some Ardbeg vanilla to uh, put in the thing that you gave me? The decanter? Yeah, I did. I'm looking forward to it. So. All right. So, I'm going to add roughly half of this container. All right, so this is two pounds. We've used a little bit, so I'm going to add roughly half of it in here um, because I don't think it needs that much more sweetness but I think it needs a little bit. Did I tell you to add a fourth of a teaspoon of tartaric uh, acid or lactic? <laughs> might not, might add it a little bit too much. Um, I meant one milliliter. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> It'll, it won't be too much. see how many points of gravity we just added to this because that's a no it's not quite half not quite half Go ahead and stir. Stir like your life depends on it. Because it doesn't. It doesn't at all. Mm, that's good honey. All right, so I added some clover honey to this. This is some clover honey got, that I also got from Harris Teeter. Um, well, I say also. This one is not uh, like a local honey. I don't even know where it was. Well, no, it came from Matthews, North Carolina is what it says. I don't know that that's where they got the honey from though, but it's uh, clover honey. So um, it says that it is a mix of Canadian, Argentinian, and uh, U.S. honeys. So it's that's why it tastes so good, I guess, because it's all from so many different places that have so many good honey. All right, we're gonna see how that ends up tasting. Hopefully the um, the lot of lactic acid, <laughs> I just told you that, which not not a bad idea. You didn't, you didn't do anything wrong. You did exactly what I told you to, but the lot of lactic acid, hopefully that won't change the flavor profile too much. Uh, I do have um, a uh, thing of star anise. So I have one star anise uh, pod. Um, five cloves, um, like 10 allspice berries and 10 peppercorns, and then one uh, piece of cinnamon in here. And then I'll put that in some uh, rum, and I'm just gonna pour that down the bottom here of my, um, of my fermentation vessel. And that's what we're gonna use there for that. Let me stir it a little bit. I've got honey on my fingers. It tastes good. 
That is my favorite thing about brew days. I get honey on my fingers, and I'm like, oh, so delicious. It's the, the delicious honey. Nice. All right. Yeah, I think that's good. All right. I'm going to move this up here. Oop. Going to take a reading off of it. Oh, <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't me who did that. I need the, uh, this. I think it was me, maybe, who put this in here. I don't know. Oh. All right. Start over. All right, so we're going to take another reading on this, see how it tastes, and um, then kind of go from there. As I just introduced a little bit of oxygen to this, hopefully that's not going to affect things too much. Thank you. That's at 1.03, so that's three points of gravity. Um, the 1.08, so that puts it at 1.12, um, 1.11. My math was bad, bad math. Uh, let's see how it tastes. It's probably going to be very sweet right now. It's actually rather nice, like it is. It brings back some of the grape flavor when it's sweeter. So it gets when it gets really dry and the lactic acid just added some creaminess to it that I feel like it needed. So I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, there's somebody who's gonna be out there that's gonna complain that I just poured that back in there. This was sanitized, you just saw us sanitize it. Well, maybe you did if I didn't edit it out. But I sanitized it and uh, I did not splash. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did hit you in the face. Um, a little longer than a few minutes later. All right. So this has been our second go at the Spice Pineant. Just to recap, we added some more spices back to it. Added another roughly pound of honey because it was one point. It's point oh three, so it's like a little bit less than a pound of honey to it. Um, and then uh, we racked it over to another fermentation vessel from the original fermentation or the yeah, the original fermentation vessel and now we're going to let it set for a little while and uh, see what happens this is technically called conditioning uh, but some fermentation will happen during this because i added extra um, sugar to it and there's still yeast in here unfortunately i didn't write down what was the yeast i used for this so for all i know it could be ec118 and then it's gonna go way past this and it could get dry again and we'll have to add more honey to it. But fortunately, we still have roughly another pound of clover honey. Um, so all that said, thanks for watching us. We have a Patreon, a Twitter, and an Instagram. You can engage us there. Sometimes we look at those things. A lot of times we look at those things and, and we look for your engagement. Um, we also have comments down below. We'd love to hear if you've tried to do your own piment or been following along with your with this recipe, what's happening with you and uh, that recipe. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.